Hey, what's up everybody? It's KB here. So we have a major update for the Fade OS. It is Fade OS 15 or version 15. With this update, Fade OS got some new features and some big changes. For those people who don't know what Fade OS is, Fade OS is a Chrome OS for PC, which also supports the Android applications, unlike Google Chrome OS Flex. You don't know what Chrome OS Flex is? You should know, because it is the official Chrome OS for PC and Mac. I have actually made a video on that too, but uh, that OS doesn't support Android applications, even though that is a official Chrome OS. So now let's get into the Fade OS. With this update, Fade OS got new setup page, redesigned UI element and whatnot, some other features. But the most important feature is actually hidden. It's not highlighted. That is Android 64 bit. Yes, before this, Fade OS was running the Android 32 bit. Now it is the 64 bit. So this line is actually for uh, the solution for the problem that you are going to get if you're using the old version of uh, Fade OS and updating to the Fade OS 15 because there is a architecture change in Android subsystem so basically they went from 32 bit to 64 bit so this is actually the biggest change in this update and also they have updated the chromium version to 100 plus uh, version because before this uh, there was 96 or something so finally uh, fade os is getting to the 100 plus version of chromium os or chrome web browser and everything now let's get into the setup section because uh, that's what they highlighted the most so they have a new redesigned setup page looks similar but let's see wow there is a new logo i guess it resembles the chrome actually yeah so i think the fade os is trying to make the logo as close as to the chrome okay we can sign in with the online account with the fade os account but you know what's best about this operating system we can use a local account microsoft please learn something from this os as you know if you want to install the windows 11 you'll need a online account microsoft account but this os uh, gives you the full freedom you know i'm not going to use any online account i'm just going to use the local account why not and we are set let me do some display settings now it looks better so i forgot to mention one more thing that uh, if you want to know how to install fade os 15 actually installing fade os 15 or the older version is similar i have made a video on how to install fade os on PC so I will put link in the description for that video you can go there and learn how to install Fade OS 15 or maybe 16 yeah the installation remains the same so here we have the Android subsystem that we can just launch and uh, yeah start using if you want to install the Google Play Store on Fade OS because it doesn't come with it but Android is there so you can just uh, use this application called configure open G apps it's on FadeOS web store made by FadeOS. Just go there and after that, just click on configure, uh, open G apps, add, add this and open it up and just install the uh, Google Play Store in it. It will actually install the, uh, you know, G apps, Google applications on FadeOS. Pretty cool, easy, simple. We can also see that uh, the wallpaper is new compared to the other versions of FadeOS so it looks like they are going with this logo this this os is like really really good in my opinion because if you want everything what uh, official chrome os offers even though now uh, there is a official chrome os for pc and mac but still as i said that doesn't support android applications so if you want android applications with chrome os and you want to use it as of now this is the best option and the best thing is that you don't need any account to use this you can use local account yeah it is basically a chrome os but made by another company and uh, yeah 
that's all i need to say i think this is the fedo s15 i think that's it for this video i don't need to talk too much but if you still have any questions or any suggestions please do the comment i will be very happy to reply you yeah you can actually try out the fedo s without actually installing it on your pc you can actually use a vmware virtual machine software you can go to fedo s for vmware and then download it and i'm pretty sure that you know how to use vmware virtual machine software that's it i will see you in the next one take care yourself and have fun Bye-bye.